hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Fola Fola the body precisely I don't know why I get to say that precisely all the time I think I'm gonna stop it and how are we all coping with the cash crunch in Nigeria it's been a mess it's been a whole lot of work in fact I don't know how I have been surviving with 2,000 naira for the past two weeks i've been managing and mising if it's not necessary i do not spend places that i'm supposed to take a bike to i trek i hope this is not what you're going through too we hope that um very soon we are going to get out of this cash crunch mess anyways getting right into the business of the day today i want to talk about a certain product that is very very good for weight loss what is this product it's cocoa powder if you stick around till the end of this video i'll be recommending a brand of cocoa powder i purchased personally it is not a paid advert i've happened to use it a couple of times and i've tried other brands too but this one is my go-to brand for cocoa powder in particular i would also be sharing tips on how to use cocoa powder for maximum results i don't know if many of you know about this product but i am guessing that most of you know what cocoa powder is because whenever i try to replace my cocoa powder that is out already it's always more expensive so someone is definitely buying them i'm making the demand for them higher so i'm guessing you know about cocoa powder already but if you don't know please stick around to learn more about cocoa powder for weight loss if it's your first time on this channel please feel free to click the like and subscribe button if you would love to see content like this getting right into it what does cocoa powder do cocoa powder has so many uses it's such an underrated beverage and i wish people could get to see so much of what it has to offer but i am believing that after this video you are not going to take cocoa powder for granted again cocoa powder contains an ingredient called polyphenols i'm wondering if i pronounce it correctly yeah i believe i did my best in pronouncing that ingredient polyphenols what do polyphenols do in the body they increase blood flow to your brain making you more alert making you function better cocoa powder keeps you active and it can also help you sleep better it doesn't make you sleep it helps you sleep better and if you remember i had mentioned one of the very effective habits to cultivate during your weight loss process is sleeping better so a product that helps you sleep better makes your brain function at maximum capacity totally improves your quality of life basically cocoa powder can help improve mood and symptoms of depression because it has a certain level of caffeine it improves the mood and alleviates depression so it puts you in a better mood because of the caffeine and also that has to do with the brain so you have to be careful of the caffeine content I noticed that when I take cocoa powder, I pee a lot and back and forth to the loo. Should it be that you have um, things like panic attack and stuff, please stay away from cocoa powder. It will help control your weight. Yes, cocoa powder will help control your weight because it suppresses appetite. Sometimes when I am confused on what to eat, I just boil water and make my cocoa powder. Once I drink it, in the next 10 minutes, I've forgotten that I'm hungry. If you're badly with cholesterol, Cocoa powder is very effective in managing cholesterol levels. Very, very effective, I can say to you. Cocoa powder can help reduce high blood pressure. Some ingredients in cocoa powder can help reduce the risk of diabetes. Many of you would have heard people say that um, dark chocolates are very good. Cocoa powder is one of the most significant ingredients of dark chocolate. In fact, a good dark chocolate contains about 70 percent of cocoa powder then the rest additives are very very minute so they are relatively healthy that's why they say that if you're trying to lose weight yeah it's okay to take dark chocolate because of cocoa cocoa powder serves as flavors for different dishes just sprinkle a little of it on whatever meal you would like to have and tada you're on your way to losing weight 
Cocoa powder is now a staple for me. I see it as a go-to food every time. In case you remember when we were growing up, there's this um chocolatey beverage that they call Eruko Shoji, right? Um, so this is what cocoa powder looks like. So I think I'll be showing you what it looks like now so that you can have an idea. If you can see clearly, this is what the cocoa powder looks like. I don't want to open it because the fan is going to affect it. This is what it looks like in case you can see it clearly. So I am about to introduce the brand that I have tried, tested and trusted. Drum rolls! <laughs> so yeah, Oluji Cocoa Powder. This is not a paid advert, not in any way, but if you make good product, of course people will be proud to tell other people about your brand. So that's why I feel very comfortable talking about Oluji Cocoa Powder. Please don't mind the fact um, I got this recently and I forgot I was supposed to use it for this video and I almost threw it away. Then I went to look for it and I saw it again. So this is Oluji Cocoa Powder. If you are conversant with the western states in Nigeria, we know that one of the natural resources found in Ondo state is cocoa. Hence, Oluji is a town in Ondo state, Ile Oluji precisely. So yeah, this is where this product is made. It's rich in natural antioxidants. Why do I recommend this brand? I recommend this brand because I've used other brands. Um, I, I don't, I, I wouldn't like to mention their name, but maybe in future I might do a product review on this cocoa powder and their differences. So what I noticed about this particular cocoa powder is it doesn't have a bitter aftertaste. The other ones I tried as a bitter aftertaste and also has this burnt smell which i am not comfortable with doesn't mean it's not good but i am not comfortable with that kind of smell probably it's the caffeine or whatever i don't know but this one is my go-to brand at any point in time i usually buy this refill pack not the one in the team because i just find out that it's a waste of money it's the same content and I'm still going to put it inside a plastic jar. So why do I need to buy the more expensive one because of the can? So I buy this. But if you don't have a jar at home, maybe you can buy the can for the first time. Then subsequently you can um, purchase the refill. So when I first started getting this Oluji cocoa powder, um, it was retailing for about 250 naira, and then it went to 400 naira, from 400 naira to 500 naira. From 500 naira to 750, and the last time I purchased this product, it, I purchased it at the rate of 1,000 naira. I can't believe it. So that's why I know that a lot of people actually know about this um, cocoa powder product and use it because if there's no demand for it, there's no way to be even be getting more expensive. So that's that's about that. Directions for using cocoa powder. Personally, I don't add anything to cocoa powder one spoon of cocoa powder contains about 12 calories and i recommend that you take just one spoon i take a spoonful of cocoa powder inside hot water and allow it to cool for some minutes when it gets warm i gulp it you don't necessarily have to rush it when you start getting used to it you will find out that you it will just be like a normal thing for you every day Another method of using this cocoa powder, if you want to use it as a meal replacement and you don't want um, something that will just taste bland like that, you can take a heap of um, cocoa powder, a heap of skimmed milk, you add honey. By doing it that way, you just feel like you're having your normal beverage, only that it's not as sugary or milky as your normal beverage. Remember, one spoon of cocoa powder, one spoon of skimmed milk, or maximum of two spoon of two spoons of skimmed milk and honey. Don't make it too sweet, or else you are defeating the purpose. If you want to take it up a notch, hmm, this method, prepare it just as I have said with skimmed milk and um, cocoa powder and honey. Put it in the fridge. You can just make a jar of it when it's chilled. Come back and tell me what you felt from that. It will sink inside your oh god. I like food. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. 
bring you, you would really, really enjoy it. It's either you take it warm or very chilled. If you want to go further, you can put some in the ice cube tray. And when your cocoa powder mixture chills, then you can add your ice cubes into it. That's one of the ways you can enjoy cocoa powder. You can add cocoa powder to your smoothies, very healthy. I once used it to make a um, banana smoothie. I mixed it with some um, banana and skimmed milk. I think I put a little bit of yogurt and um, a little bit of um, pie. It was heavenly. That's what I can say about it. It had this chocolatey flavor. I you totally not believe the results you will get from this please feel free to comment in the section below if you've heard of cocoa powder and have used it before how effective it is for you if you'll be recommending it to anyone if you found this video informative please do well to click the like and subscribe button feel free to share as well i will see you in my next video until then stay beautiful and stay dream Mwah.